Hello, Chris from Mainframe here. I'm going to show you a quick trick and a shameless plug for two of our products, Bull and uh, recent ProSet, and how you can use the two of them together. Um, it's going to be a very quick tip, and I'll leave you guys to take it any further. But basically, if we just create a cube, I'm going to create a second cube, and I'm just going to make that one a bit smaller. And that cube, I'm going to move somewhere that'll do and then by setting those two I'm going to create a ball and there we go we've got our ball those of you who are familiar with ball will know that you can now move this around and do what you want to do with it um, but what we're going to show you here is how you can combine this with pro sets now to make some bevels so if I just select an edge on the ball itself and um, create a bevel I'm going to not do that as a fraction just do that as that that value is absolutely fine now with ball selected, um, several ways you can do this, but I'm just going to alt click the pro set here and that will give this pop up window and I'm going to select the bevel for pro set to set for us. I'm going to change component mode to edge and then under normals, I'm just going to change the ed mode, edge mode to hard edges. And what that will do is just give us only the edges. In fact, it's all the edges in this case, but uh, if I move this, you'll see it will keep our edges going all the way through. So the nice thing about this is because it's a ball, we can now create something like a cylinder and we can then just drag this cylinder, wherever you want, there we go, into ball. And as you can see, we've got our bevel working for us. And we can do whatever we like. Um, now it's just worth being aware with this that it's not absolutely foolproof. If we take our original cube and while we can add more subdivisions to it, where have you gone? Hello, there we go. Um, so that's all fine, but obviously if you get this, this bevel, these two uh, objects intersecting each other, closer than the bevel will allow you to then the bevel will break down so it's just something to bear in mind but what you can see in here is where we've got the two things intersecting with each other you've still got this holding up in here in the bevel and of course we can go back to our bevel come on Chris focus and uh, change our segments here and get something a bit smoother whatever we want to do make it a little bit tighter and it's all holding up and we are still procedural. Okay, there you go.